We're going to talk about emission spectrums here. Yeah? So first of all, what is an emission line spectrum? Well, it is a bunch of colored lines okay, on a dark background. So I can't really draw that, but uh, just imagine that this thing is dark and these lines over here are colored. And uh, so what we need to understand is how to produce an emission spectrum. What is important is that you need to have some vapor here and this vapor must be excited. Okay, and this vapor is probably an unknown one. And so actually the purpose of an emission spectrum is trying to identify what this unknown vapor could be. So typically how you excite the vapors, you pass a potential difference across it. And so of course what that means is that then you'll get electrons flying through this thing at high speeds. And so these high speed electrons are going to bombard with your vapor atoms. Okay, and if we draw some energy levels to represent the vapor atoms, okay, these particles, of course, would then start to excite because they get bombarded. And so let's imagine that all these atoms start off at excited states. And so remember, when they are at excited states, they won't stay there for long. They will all start to de-excite like this, you know, and then they'll start, very importantly, in each of these de-excitations to emit photons, let's write this down, of specific wavelengths here. So if you pass them through a diffraction grating, remember that the angle at which they diffract depends on their wavelengths. And because the wavelengths are specific in nature, then the angles at which these photons are going to diffract through are also going to be specific in nature. Meaning that the series of lines that you obtain over here are going to be unique, depending on the energy levels themselves, which of course, every atom has a unique set of those. And therefore, by looking at the spectrum, you can identify what this vapor over here initially was by comparing it to a bunch of known spectrums.